Hi, my name's Harry Yan. I'm a product application specialist at Tinius Olson. We're here today to talk about the MP1200 melt flow indexer. Uh, what's shown here is the base model MP1200. It's designed to do method A testing according to ASTM D1238 and ISO 1133. Um, the standards are pretty much the same. Uh, with, if you want to do an ISO test, you need to have a little different hardware. You have to have a different piston foot and different piston rod and you have to do a little different programming. But uh, for our discussion today, we're going to focus on ASTM D1238 and uh, do a procedure A test. It's a test that uh, measures the flow of the material being driven by a piston through the die under defined temperature and weight conditions. The basic goal of this test is to put material into the cylinder and put the piston in and put a weight on it and you have a seven minute plus or minus 30 second preheat defined in the standard. And that time, that preheat time is designed to let the material melt and get out any air bubbles that might be in the material. Ideally, at the end of that seven minute preheat time, you're going to get to the point where these scribe lines are just about ready to enter the collar, the top of the collar. You want to try and avoid having the scribe lines enter in there before the preheat time uh, has expired. So once that preheat time expires and the bottom line disappears into the collar, you can start your first capture. So you would make a cut, press start on the machine. The machine is going to count down uh, whatever you entered in for a capture time period. Normally it's about 60 seconds. You make that cut, weigh that piece after the 60 seconds, Enter that weight into the MP1200 and the machine will calculate your flow rate for you. We programmed the MP1200 to run a test. We selected the, uh, the MP1200 does come with uh, standard templates in there to use as a guide when you're setting up your test. We pre-program it using the method A uh, sample template and we're ready to run a test. So you, when you're ready to run the test, you remove the piston And go ahead and press start test. Um, if you entered uh, any kind of sample identifiers in there or for information about the test, you can enter that in by simply pressing on the box, getting the keyboard, entering in details about the test, and then pressing continue to, to uh, move to the next screen. What appears now is a screen that says charge cylinder now and it gives you a little countdown time period here. What that countdown is for is you're supposed to be able to load the material, put the piston back in, apply the weight, and start the preheat time within 60 seconds. The amount of material you charge kind of depends on your expected flow rate. Um, you'll never figure it out right off the bat. It takes a little trial and error to uh, determine how much you're charging, but you want to put the, uh, the enough in the machine so that it you get to your scribe lines after the end of the preheat period. You don't want to do it before and you don't want to do it after. You want to avoid pressing down on the weights if you, if you can do that at all. So we've put the piston in. We'll go ahead and start our test. Actually, what it's doing now is starting the preheat period. So the material is going to melt and all the air bubbles are going to come out and you'll establish a good steady state flow so when you make your cut, it's gonna flow at the same rate at the end of the capture, giving you a nice even uh, melt flow. Okay, we're getting to the point where the scribe line's just about to enter into the collar. So when it gets there, I wanna get ready to make a cut. And I wanna press start at the same time. So now I've actually started my test capture. We programmed a 60 second capture length into this machine. And we'll take that piece, we'll weigh it in our scale, we'll get the weight and enter it into the MP1200 controller. It confirms that your entry is correct. 
and then it'll calculate your milk flow for you. The machine will store the last 25 tests that you ran. The other option you have is to print it. Uh, we supply a printer that works with the MP1200 system. We also provide each MP1200 with an, a PDF writer installed on the machine so you can uh, print out your report to a USB key and take it to any other computer and print a hard copy out.